Hey kids, welcome to Unit 2, Lesson 7, Accessor Methods, Exercise Number 1. Looks like we have another vocabulary lesson. Let's see what we have to define today. Our first word is truncate. I use this word a lot in my hands-on videos, and truncate usually means cut off. I'm going to assume our definition has something to do with that. Call by value. This is an interesting one. Usually when we talk about call by value, we also talk about call by reference. And if you look at this graphic here, call by value, if I have the integer A here at 34, and if I call math A, I'm calling that number 34. In this aspect, both A goes to the value of 34. What we have been doing a lot of is call by reference. And that's when we create a new object and give it a value. In that case, both the value and the number point to the same object. That usually just means one is a exact copy, another is a copy that doesn't affect the original. And there's this fun little GIF here I usually use to help me remember that. If we look through the Java user manual, null point exception gives this definition. And I think we've been doing a lot of calling to methods. So our definition is probably going to have something to do with an error with calling with a method. Return by value. We've been using void a lot and void just doesn't return anything. What happens if we want to return something? That's when we use the return method. And for our class purposes and the AP exam, you only really write two types of returns. That's either void or return type. Let's go down these definitions and see if we can't match our vocabulary. Copying the value of the actual parameter to the constructor's formal parameter. That sounds a lot like call by value when I'm copying the actual variable. An error that occurs when a reference does not point to an object. Well, again, if you remember that user manual we just looked at, and there's only really one error vocabulary word here, so that's going to be a null point exception. Cut off date at the end, sounds like truncate and a copy of the value is given to where the method is called. And this sounds a lot like our exit word return. So if we are going to return a value, it's going to be return value. Well, let's see if I'm right, kids. Hopefully this video helped you understand the vocabulary a little better. As always, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. See you later, kids. Bye, bye, bye.